Four months ago, I was sitting down on a Friday night watching a TV show called NCIS. Now there's this girl in this show, she's one of the main actors, and within three or four episodes of me watching, I was already hooked onto her. Her smile, the way she talked, I watched one episode every single night or at least three or four times a week and my attachment only grew every single episode without me even realizing that. So after about, I don't know, seven episodes in, I looked to see if this actor had social media and I looked everywhere and she didn't have it, which didn't really annoy me, but it kind of made me feel like a bit more lonely. And watching an episode of NCIS was the only thing I really looked forward to every single day for a moment of time because I was so hooked on it. It wasn't necessarily the show itself, it was the girl acting in it. I'd be on the bus to school just catching myself thinking about it. I'd be in class doing my work, just catching myself thinking about that actor. I'd be doing my work, sitting down editing my videos and just catch myself thinking about her again over and over and over. Like bro, I probably wasted an hour of time in my day, which is a lot. However, the times I was working, I was more productive because I was using this, you know, missing love that I was trying to find you know, externally as fuel to work harder, right? Because w women are a great source of fuel for men. And that's true, bro. Yeah, a lot of the things we do as men, we do them for girls. Then, out of nowhere, one month after being hooked on this show that I've been watching basically every single night, I discovered a girl. This girl texts me out of nowhere asking what camera I used. Now, the OGs who've watched this video know this story, so I'm not gonna go deep into it. Basically, this girl asks me what camera I use. Then we start getting into a conversation about self-improvement, and I get hooked onto her as well. I start watching her content, and now this girl is my number one priority. Not the fucking actor anymore that I was kinda hooked on. It was this girl. And I think that because I knew that she knew me, and she reached out to me first, my hopes of filling that void was actually high because she knew me. This girl had everything I look for in a dream wife. And again, I couldn't let her go, bro. Just like that actress before, not actor. If I say actor, I mean actress, because she's a woman. And I didn't know what to do. And to be honest, I still don't know what to do. It still ruins my mind till this day. But at this point in my life around four months ago, I was living my best life. Like I was blowing up on YouTube, I was making more money than I had before, right? I, I, I loved what I did and I still do, of course, but I felt the most lonely that I probably ever had in my life. And I wish I could give you an answer on why. I stepped up my workload, I edited more videos, I put more time into things, meaning I, you know, I didn't see my friends as much and maybe that is the reason, but I can't give you a reason on why I'm at a point in my life where I'm craving love. It has gotten better, it definitely has, but it's still there. I still watch like that NCIS show maybe once or twice a week and not for the fact of seeing that woman or actress on TV, but just for the show itself. But it still gets me, bro. But let's go back to when I was talking to this girl on Instagram. So we're talking and out of nowhere, we just stopped talking, right? We just stopped talking. Then I go back to watch another NCIS episode, which I hadn't watched in like a week and a half just because I've been busy and you know, I've been doing other things. I've been playing PlayStation with the boys instead, right? So I go back to, an, to another episode and after watching an episode, I'm already hooked again. And I'm like, fuck, why did I do that shit? Now I'm just gonna be thinking about this girl all the time. I can't get it out of her mind. Yes, it is fuel in a way, but still, I don't want it in my head. And I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I don't know how to eliminate it. I don't know how to eliminate the desire for love. I don't know how to eliminate the desire for wanting a girlfriend. I don't know how. At this point in my life, I don't know how. You're probably experiencing the same thing. And you've been attached to a certain girl for a long time, whether you know her or you don't, or it's not, it might not just, it might not be a specific woman. It might just be that feeling of loneliness that you can't get rid of. You come home from school every single day. You just think about, you know, spending your time with a girl. I think about that all the time, right? You are not the only one, you aren't. Now I'm at a point in my life where I'm just accepting the fact that I will probably have these thoughts for quite a while. I'm a young kid, I'm 18, right? I'm entering the new world, right? This social media game has definitely opened opportunities for me that I wouldn't have had otherwise. It is so normal, bro. It's in our DNA as men to crave this shit. But I, I do want you to realize that, bro, like 
if your life is just shit, like, you know, you, you watch corn all the time, you, you vape, you eat all this shit that you know is not good for you. That's probably the reason why this feeling is amplified, bro. You are trying to fill a void inside yourself, but that love can be found within. That love can be found within, you know, doing the things that you know you should be doing, studying harder, making that YouTube channel or something like that, hitting the gym more, like something really simple, bro. But that's right in the book. Journaling every single night, just getting a connection with you. That love can be found within. But then again, no matter how much love you have for yourself, you're always going to seek it externally and that's just life. I have, compared to the 99% of the population, like a high level of self-love. Right? I do the shit that's good for me and I trust myself, I believe in myself. Yeah, I discipline myself. And that's where my respect for myself comes from. But I, I'd seek love externally. I don't know more than the average person, but I'd say so unless no one admits they do. But I think about this shit all the time. I'm fine with not having a girlfriend right now. I just fear not meeting the right person. But brother, I'm saying this to you, but I'm also saying it to myself that the right person will come around and these people like, you know, like on movies and social media and TV shows, they're portrayed as perfect. These people like men and women, they're portrayed as perfect, bro. They are. Yeah, no one is perfect. The right person in real life will accept your flaws. So I don't want you to get into the mindset like, okay, I need to be perfect for this girl. I need to be perfect for love. You don't, bro. You don't. You, right now, deserve love. You do. Right, yeah, you could be doing better. The person that you're fucking simping over in mentally, they have the same thoughts as you. They probably think about men like boys all the time. So numb, bro, and I hope you understand that. I'm, I don't want to make this video. I'm scared to make this video because it touches my fears, bro. Yeah? But I'm only saying this to you because I think you need to hear it. And if you clicked on this video, you probably do. And I need to hear this shit as well. Right, we, we just got to trust the process. We got to trust the process. We, we got to keep doing what's best for us. We're going to put trust in God and put trust in the universe that everything will work out the way it's supposed to, especially relationship-wise. You will meet that one girl that's you think is way too good to be true just because you haven't witnessed someone like her yet. And we must maintain this mindset, bro. She will come around as long as you keep doing what's right. Find love within yourself by doing the things that you know you should be doing. And my brother, you will be fine. My brother, last thing I'll leave you with, probably, probably the most important thing I'll tell you all video. It's all temporary. This feeling that I'm experiencing now will, will not be here in probably three or four months. And the same with you, bro. All right? That's the joy of life. It's normal, just smile bro, just fucking smile. Who cares? Life is amazing bro. Don't let these thoughts cloud your judgment. They aren't bad, but don't let them get in your way. I'll catch you in the next video my brother. Peace.